Now we will look at examination using translation to the typical cervical facets C2 to C7. While palpating using the finger pads on the sides of the articular pillar, the head and cervical spine is semi-flexed. This enables translation of the cervical spine from left to right whilst the operator walks their fingers down the spine assessing for quality and quantity of motion. Using the nose and chin as a marker, the finger pads assess motion. Movement to the left tells the operator that the facets are opening on the left. Non-movement to the right tells the operator the facets are not opening on the right and vice versa. This is continued down to the cervicothoracic junction.